What's up guys, it's your boy coming back with another video. This video, I'm going to talk about state versus federal laws. Who do I have to listen to? Can I ignore them both? I'll tell you right now. Alright guys, so, federal laws versus state laws. Who do I have to listen to? What's more important? What can get me in more trouble? Well, the truth of the matter is it depends on your situation. So, state law supersedes federal if it is stricter than the federal guidelines. Federal law trumps state law if there's a contradiction. State law is enforceable in the state. So, the let's say the marijuana. Marijuana, okay? So, certain states, it is allowed. So, you can do it there. But the feds have the choice if they want to mess with you or not. So, in that, it, it does... Um, and uh, it does contradict it because feds say it's illegal. States say, well, it's legal here. So on the state grounds, it's legal. So a state officer, a state enforcement cannot do anything about it. Now, if a federal agent enforcement comes in, they can stop it under federal law. What does that have to do with trucking? So a lot of people think that federal law is what matters. And that, great example, California, you need a CDL, anything over 10,000 pounds. That is a conflict for interstate. If it's an intrastate driver, or resident or whatever they are held to the state guidelines because the state guidelines are stricter than the federal but that state cannot supersede my licensed state because I'm under Delaware state so or De I'm under Delaware state laws when it comes to that so, if Delaware would change a law today stating, I don't know, anything under 26000 still needs a CDL. I w if I didn't have it, I would have to get it. But you coming in would not need it. So, like the ordinances, stuff like that, you need to listen to the state. The federal guidelines are a standard. They're a standard. So, nobody can be more lenient than a federal guideline. Like CMVs are 0 .04 BAC, blood alcohol level. Now, if Tennessee wants to make it 0 .02, they can. And if you have it in their state, you could be shut down. You could get a DUI in the state of Tennessee over that state guideline. You don't get the point zero four. You get the point zero two, and now it gets confusing at times because you don't know when's what. So the easiest way to remember it, go with the stricter one. Now that makes common sense, right? If it's stricter, that's what they're going to enforce, and that's the reason that there's state speed limits, like. There's state traffic laws. Like, there's state laws that can make a state stricter. If, and, and these people that say federal law trumps state, then there wouldn't be any state laws. Like, you, just nowhere does that make sense that state laws don't matter. If state laws don't matter, we wouldn't have lawmakers, we wouldn't have state governments, we wouldn't need all that. 
because it's a federal mandate. So, there was a case in New York back in January where the federal ELD mandate went into place. Okay? But the state of New York did, did not adopt that into their laws. They still allowed to not use it. So, they were allowed to enforce it, but they could not give you tickets. And uh, I'm looking at it here, but so from January, I think it was January 6th to like January 16th of 2019, they were not allowed to enforce ELD mandate. They were allowed to look at it and uphold the federal law but they could not give you a ticket in the state of New York. When you go to these, when, when you go to like the states, you all, 90% of the time you get tickets on the state laws. Most of them don't even know the federal laws because it, it's not important to them. It's important to us because we run across all state lines. So it is important to hot shot truckers. But to Joe Blow or Officer Robocop or uh, I don't know, lawyer know it all, they're all about state. State, state, state. It's all about the state revenue. You know, so these guys that tell you federal, Trump, state, they're wrong. It's the stricter of the two, which is common sense. So, make sure that you know your laws when going across state lines. Here's another one. Um, a concealed carry permit. Federally, you can carry a firearm with the permit, right? Some states outlaw it. I think it's New Jersey, New York, and there's a couple other ones that you cannot have a firearm in a CMV. It doesn't matter. They don't honor the permit. So their federal law trumps, or state law trumps federal. Because it's the stricter of the two, and the state can enforce it. Some of, that's why some of these DOT officers, they say state of whatever, but they're trained under a federal guideline a lot of the times. So, guys, when, when doing this, make sure you know who you're listening to. Please, please, please. Know what you're listening to. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Like, federal, state, trumping state. That's way, way, way too good to be true. Like... I can come in here and just give the state official a boop, and I'm good. Because it's under federal law. It doesn't work like that. It's like like with your parents. Whoever's the strictest, that's how we wrote. You know, and it's, it, it's horrible that they can't be on the same page. But federal is strictly for guidelines. That, that's what a federal law is federal mandate is for so hope you guys got a little bit out of this um if any i'm not running out anytime soon but if any of you guys have any questions that i have not covered in the videos <clears throat> hotshot wedge dot, dot, blah, 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 blah. hotshot wedge at gmail.com will get you my email that is my email so you can come on over there just drop a little Drop a little question, a little statement, a little comment. Something you want me to look into that's going on. I don't care if it's news-wise, if it's, you know, whatever. We're about trucking. You got a question you want me to look into it? Holler at your boy. And you may be premiered on here. Your name will go right across here. Not here. Down here. And you may with a whining puppy all right guys like i said like share subscribe 
Hit that ding ding and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.